6th of January, the police sent a communique. They said the police is analyzing the prophecies of the various churches. We want to thank God for the police and for protecting us during the Christmas. He It is okay for the police to caution us about prophecies that cause fear and panic, especially that have to do with notable personalities. However, for the police to issue a statement the 6th of January 2022 that they are analyzing prophecies, the various churches is trying to legislate prophecy. The New Testament, we see prophet Agabus warned that there would be a famine in Acts chapter 11. Uh, now can you read Acts chapter 11, verse 27 and 28 for me? And in these days, prophets came from Jerusalem to Antioch. Then one of them, named Agabus, stood up and showed by the Spirit that there was going to be a great famine throughout all the world, which also happened in the days of Claudius Caesar. Same Agabus in Acts chapter 21, verses 10 to 11, takes Paul's girdle and prophesies that the owner of this would be arrested and handed over to the Gentiles. Can you read it for me? Acts 21, verse 10 to 11. And as we stayed many days, a certain prophet named Agabus came down from Judea. When he had come to us, he took Paul's belt, bound his own hands and feet, and said, that says the Holy Spirit, so shall the Jews at Jerusalem bind the man who owns this belt and deliver him into the hands of the Gentiles. Amen. Amen. As a prophet, God can open my eyes to see a church member is going to die if we don't pray. And if the person is notable, I will have to tell them in secret so as not to create confusion. But I may have to tell him. <laughs> Paul was on a ship to Rome and he prophesied to them that it is better they don't make the journey because it would create problems. In Acts chapter 27 verses 10, verses 21 to 26. Can you read that for me? Acts chapter 27 verse 10. Saying, men, I perceive that this voyage will end with disaster and much loss. Not only of the cargo and ship, but also of our lives. Acts 27, verse 21 to 26. But after long abstinence from food, then Paul stood in the midst of them and said, Men, you should have listened to me and not have sailed from Crete and incurred this disaster and loss. And now I urge you to take heart, for there will be no loss of life among you, but only of the ship. For there stood by me this night an angel of the God to whom I belong and whom I serve, saying, Do not be afraid, Paul. You must be brought before Caesar. And indeed, God has granted you all those who sail with you. Therefore, take heart, men, for I believe God that it will be just as it was told me. Verse 26. However, we must run aground on a certain island. Amen. So, so Paul prophesied that there will be danger on the journey. Now our meteorological services department at times make predictions with their scientific machines which causes fear and at times the things they say don't come to pass. So the police administration haven't admonished us to be careful about prophecies that would cause fear, etc. By and large, the first night, the church complied. They should not use their scarce resources in trying to analyze our prophecies. If we are not careful, very soon they will be analyzing our sermons and telling us what to preach. When we stay and practice what New Testament prophecy is, which is for edification, that is building up, exhortation, which is encouragement and comfort, According to 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 3, can you read that for me? 1 Corinthians 14, verse 3. 
But he who prophesies speaks edification and exhortation and comfort to men. And then New Testament prophecy also imparts the gifts of the Spirit according to 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 18. 1 Timothy 1 verse 18. This charge I commit to you, son Timothy, according to the prophecies previously made concerning you, that by them you may wage the good warfare. God bless the reading of his word. Amen. And so I want to admonish the police administration that they should, they've done their best. Yes, they've told us we should be careful about prophecies that will cause danger and fear and panic. You know, by and large, the church complied. They should please not get into wanting to uh, 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 legislate prophecy because they don't have what it takes to legislate prophecy. We, they should leave that to spiritual people and we promise them that we will make sure that there will not